For years, I was so reliant on this neck brace in a way that like, it just felt unbearable with the symptoms I was having to have it off. Hey my friends, I just wanted to share a quick update with you on my neck brace. So I have had this neck brace for four and a half years, not this brace exactly, I've broken several of them <laughs> because of needing to wear it so much, but over the last, I would say, year to year and a half, I have been weaning off of my neck brace and just very gradually not having to wear it as much and I'm just really excited to share with you guys that I haven't used my neck brace at all in about six weeks now. So even for a long time after I stopped needing to wear my neck brace during the daytime, I still had to wear it when I went to sleep and um, the last six weeks I have been able to not need it at night when sleeping and so it's just been a really cool and exciting thing. We actually went on a weekend trip to Texas and I didn't even bring my neck brace. And so, I don't know, that was just a really cool milestone because for years I was so reliant on this neck brace in a way that like, it just felt unbearable with the symptoms I was having to have it off. And it just didn't feel like it was at all within reach to um, not need it, but here I am not needing the neck brace for over six weeks now and it's such a blessing. I'm so grateful and I don't know, it's just a testament to me of the body's amazing ability to heal. Um, and yeah, I strengthened my faith too, just seeing what our bodies are capable, capable of recovering from and being in such a low place and now doing really well and being able to do normal things and do normal life and get back to things that I missed for so many years and it's been such a blessing. Actually my neurosurgeon after I had my surgery told me that I would be in pain for the rest of my life that it just like with all the conditions I had and the surgeries that I had to have that it just wasn't realistic to even consider the possibility of me being in zero pain and now I'd say about half the time I'm in zero pain with my neck, which is just, I can't even put words to how incredible that is. And like, when I think back, I, it's just hard to even believe that the way that I was living that I was even able to survive what we went through. And yeah, I'm just grateful for this second chance at life. I'm grateful for the chance that I have to share my story and to encourage people that are going through similar things. Um, just keep believing that you can recover, keep working towards recovery and doing all the things that you can to support your body and help your body to heal. And yeah, I'm just, I can't believe it. I'm just grateful. And um, for the most part, I'd say that I, my neck is, is overall doing really well. And um, last fall was when I stopped wearing my neck brace in the car. I did this all very gradually. Um, it's it's kind of crazy to think that it took well over a year and a half for me to wean off of using the neck brace. So healing isn't fast. It's not something that happens overnight. It's something that takes a long time, especially when you know, you're in a really low spot. Like, it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to be linear. They're going to be ups and downs. But um, as many of you guys know, about four years ago, I did have a craniocervical fusion surgery. So I infused um, from my skull to C2. And um, if I could go back, I wouldn't have that surgery. Personally, I don't believe any of my healing is due to that surgery. I actually feel that having the surgery has, if anything, impeded my healing and made it more complicated and difficult. Um, but it was a part of my story for a reason and it's something that's hard for me to think about and talk about, but it affects me every day still. Um, the limited range of motion, just like strengthening your neck is harder when you don't have that movement. And yeah, it's just something that still affects me every day. And so I think about it quite a bit, but I, I've 
really tried to come to peace with it and that like that was a part of my story for a reason and anyway i want to do a full update just like a raw chat and discussion with you guys about my thoughts on the surgery this is something that is hard for me to talk about um it can be triggering and it's just but i think it's important and so i i really do want to make a video about that um, but just know that that's a hard thing for me to talk about. So if you ever message me or um, comment about specifics to do with my surgery or instability symptoms or my experience with it, like it's still a hard thing for me to talk about. And so if I don't respond to those, just know that it's probably because it's, it's just hard for me to talk about. Anyways, overall, I'm just really grateful to be um where i am right now and things are going well there are so many difficult things about healing but it's the good kind of hard and so yeah all is well and i just wanted to say if you're in a really difficult place right now i'm cheering for you and praying for you and just hoping all the best for you don't give up hope on recovery it's absolutely possible so many people are recovering from chronic illness and you can too Make sure to subscribe and follow along and I'll look forward to seeing you in another video very soon.